Nathan got the cap back. He got everything up at Bellevue done. He's been having a heck of a time. Soil finisher blew a hydraulic line and a couple bolts broke on him. So he's been having a heck of a time finishing up. Just working some of this uh, weedy bean stubble. This will be our last planted cornfield. Hey, Gabby. <laughs> Just got done with a delicious meal from Grandma. So now Nathan's gonna run me up to this water trailer up at Zymitz, and I'm gonna take the water trailer up to Andrew and finish up the Andrew farm and then move to Bellevue. Then we really just got the Bellevue farm and then 25, 30 acres back behind here that Nathan was all finishing. Then we'll, we'll be done with first pass. Sucker always starts cold. Well, time to take this thing to Andrew. That's just a low air alarm, it'll go off here soon. Hopefully I don't uh, wreck this thing, I just gotta take my time. Well, I made it here unscathed, so that's good. Unfortunately, this farm does not have a good spot all the way back in the lane to basically A, turn around, or B, tender. So I'm having to basically leave it on the kind of back road, level B, township road. So, this is what it is. Now I got a 15 minute walk, at least a mile, at least. Hi, goes. Hi, goes. Kill. Cool. Savior. Almost there. Bad thing is I gotta basically start it and wait 10 minutes for the GPS and RTK to come in. But on the bright side, I can look and see how my spraying job has been doing. I sprayed these beans about a week, week and a half ago. So I don't, there's no way they're gonna be emerging quite this early, but at least I see a lot of yellowing and dying weeds. That's good. Don't you be spinning on me. Setting a magnet on a rounded handrail is not a good idea. Setting a Magnet on a rounded handrail is not a good idea. Well, that's good. Now we start the waiting games, so let's uh, dig some seeds, see how our soybeans are doing. Yeah, die. Die! This was planted, oh, I don't know. How long is that planted ago? Well, it's germinating, that's good. What I mean by that, the seed swelled up, so that means it's taking in moisture. And the, see how that uh, little root is popping out? That's good. I don't know, I think this was planted, what, five days ago, a week ago, something like that? Planted a little while ago. Well, you guys will know because my videos are like, three weeks behind right now. So cut to this video when this was planted. The position recall is something that I'm not quite used to because I never really use it. But uh, this thing recalled its RTX positioning in like two minutes. Good job, Case, proud of you. Well, just finished the first load. It's a little breezy, but it's not bad. So now I gotta fill up with one more load and then uh, take this thing up to Bellevue. Hi, go. Hi! Hi, cow! Alright, I'm loaded up. I'm gonna take this thing up to Bellevue, put it under the hydrant. We still have a good spot to park this here, and there's not a good hydrant here, so if I'm moving to Bellevue. There's Pat right there planting up on top of the hill. Just rolling into Bellevue. This is exactly what I do not want to see. This rain. Not much, but I made the mistake of running the windshield once, now I gotta run up to seed. This might mess up my Roundup that I'm spraying. Because Roundup's gotta basically bond to the plant's material for a couple hours. But this freaking pop-up shower might be ruining it. Matt said just send it. I don't know, I'm a little more apprehensive, but I'm not the boss. Basically, like I said, if a rain comes down, it'll wash this chemical off. Maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see. All done. Let's hope this roundup kills that the rain kind of quits. So I hope it wasn't too bad. Only time will tell though. Boss man said to send it, so we sent it. There's quite a bit of broad leaves, a little bit of grasses out here. So hopefully this take care of it. 
Texas takes care of it, not take care of it. Pat literally just got done with this farm. I just see him driving down the highway and I'm literally just pulling on this farm. So hopefully I can get this done tonight. We'll see him. Hoping to get all this done. I got 150 acres-ish to do up here. And I'm gonna drive it home. That's a hope at least. It's 4.15 and that's gonna be a stretch. I might be able to do it, maybe. Let me show you how ridiculous and stupid the Pro 700 and just Case IH GPS in general is. Like this is ridiculous. So I lost RTX, great, perfect. I'm down to four inch accuracy where you at. Two inch accuracy, but it's still screwing up. See how it says I covered everything? Well, I have it. This is what I actually covered. Just the outside round. That is literally it. But no, the Pro 700 says I've done everything so far. See that? Even the coverage map says I is about right. Look what the heck. This is what is actually controlling the sprayer though. So I'm having to run everything manually. Case age, do better. Like this is ridiculous. Rain over. This has been a frustrating afternoon. Had a lot of things go wrong that I haven't really mentioned. You know, other than that rant I just went on. But I I'm making progress. I got the first half load of Roundup on at this field. I got one more load of Roundup to do. And then that should be it. Then I'm gonna switch over to my uh, less aggressive recipe to we'll put on our tilled ground. And I'm gonna start really dropping the hammer. I can spray a less rate so I can do more with less water. Keep it rolling. Ha, huh, just kidding. I thought Pat had this uh, top piece planted pieces. But uh, I see he was just got his outside round done here. Uh, see how I'm driving over green? That's why I have this iPad in here with me. That way I can, you know, rough it. I'm overlapping a lot, but I'd rather have everything covered than not enough. That's what it is. Finally, the point where I'm chasing Pat out of the fields. He just planted this field about two hours ago, and I'm on him. Sweet. One down, one to go. Farm in the valleys and hilltops. So what we're doing, this is cattle country. You just farm uh, basically whatever is halfway flat. You can kind of see we're on a pretty big slope right now. Just got done with that hill. Now we're going to this one. What are you doing there, buddy? You know you're not supposed to be out here right now. All right, I'll see you in December. Oh, just uh, spraying along. Really wanted to get these no-till fields done because you can kind of see they're getting really thick. Dang water hemp. Another one bites the dust. Hey, another one bites dust. Yeah. Head down the steep hill, going to the fishing holes. This is the little mill fishing place that basically we let uh, the DNR stocks our ground and uh, we let people fish on it. It's a public fishing spot. So go check it out, little mill. We got 14 acres there, 27 acres there, and I actually carted this video where I was actually where I was uh, chiseling this ground. Ow, oh, it's bouncy for only going eight mile an hour. Here's part of a little mill that they actually stock. Right there's the good fishing spot. Crossing the river, or creek, I should say. There's Pat planting the final field here up in Bellevue, and he's got my five acre piece on the way home. And then he has about 30 acres behind the farm that Nathan was soil finishing earlier today that he's also going to do. Probably going to be a late night, but we're going to be finished with corn today, guys. That's exciting. Well, I didn't think I'd get it, but I got enough of uh, enough water out of that trailer to get one more load for sure. So we're going to go spray this out. Got the nice long rows of my dad's field right now. I can just haul the mail because I'm it's it's relatively flat, I'd say. Let's get up to 17 or so. 18, ooh, 18 and a half, slow down. Yeah, you can do 205 acres an hour instant up here. Not too bad for literally the top of a hill. My dad's piece is done. Six well, five plus one. Six pieces left to go for first pass, 2022. That's pretty exciting. I would do two more on this tank and then uh, see how much water I got. This fence is gonna be all new next year all along this highway. We put a new, we put it in every single year, an electric fence and it's a big pain in the neck for my dad and I, so it's gonna be really nice once we get this done. Cooking with gas in the flats. 
There's that tile in that was plugged earlier this year. Doing its job, it's dry now. Well, I've never done this before. Try to go down the road 60 feet wide. This cliff is the only thing I'm worried about, but I think I'll be all right. I gotta put the camera down so I don't hit anything though. Oh yeah, it worked. All in the, game, all in the name of the game of efficiency. It's a remote gravel road. I thought I could do it. it Save me a minute unfolding and unfolding. Last pass of the night, more than likely. I'm gonna be out of water and I'm caught up to where Pat just got done planted, so really no need to spray it right now. So I'm gonna go home with Curtis. He came down here to get the seed tender. Bellevue Farmers planted. Pat's got five acres left at my piece, then he's heading home. I only have about 25, 35, 70, 75 acres left here. About 100 acres left at first pass. Not bad. I caught the planter pretty quickly. Let's head home. Swing the seam tender back in. You got six feet. Okay. Okay, Emma. Oh, that'll be okay. Oh, grandma's food is delicious. Wait till I get under the light. You guys can see me. But Pat's gonna finish corn tonight. He's on his way home. He's got about, he'll be here in like probably five, 10 minutes. Might even pass him on the way out. But he's gonna do that 30 acres in the back tonight and call her a day and call her a corn planting season and call it the last acre of corn ever planted with that planter on our farm. Wink, wink. But I'm gonna head home, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, and ta-ta for now. Look at that. That's me. You got the bud man. I'm actually up at a different farm today. I am up helping Cody Severdine put in fence. He's gonna buy himself about 15, 20 cows and put them down through here, all the way around. Over there, there's a cornfield there, but he conned me into helping him put up some fence, so he broke his uh, post pounder, so he had to go up and weld that. Nice day, it's raining, we got probably close to an inch of rain from last night to the night. Well needed rain. Uh, it was dry, dry. I mean, we went like 14, 15 days without rain. All the corn's in, my corn got in yesterday. Corn's done. He got done last night. He pulled into the shop and it started raining. Perfect timing for that. We're going to put two barbs up here and then we're going to see if it works. Okay, so I had to splice it here, put this insulator on so no wires are touching it. And I connected a wire here. Now we'll run this wire all the way down to the other end. One handed jack here, or in this case, bud. And we'll come back. When I'm done, I'll show you. Just put this bad boy up here. Like that. Wire. Wire. And away we go. There's Cody. He came back from breaking his post pounder. So we're gonna go see if he can weld or not. Who mowed the grass here? Me. Why didn't you mow along there? I'm gonna get all wet. You're already wet. Oh, I never thought about that. This will make Chad happy. Hey Chad! Looks like I can still weld. Okay, that's good. So, Okay, so he's got that fixed. Now we're going to go up and we'll put one barb along here, hot wire. The reason we're doing that, we got to connect it over to that corner there so we have a connection all the way around. Cody is tired. The boss is there. We made some good headway. We uh, started way on the other side there. Brought it up and around to the road, back around the corner and come over to here. We got it hooked up, one wire anyway, got to come back and get another wire. So everything's looking good. Cody's mad, so we got to quit. If Raider was here, we'd probably get it done a lot faster. No, we wouldn't get it done faster. <laughs> Cody, anything to say quick? I'm ready to go home. Beer 30? Yep. It's beer 30. Ta-ta for now.